You don't have any hot chocolate. Where's you? We need hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. So Nick, do we have all orders out? Um, we have... Miss yeah, Rhonda got hers. Did Miss Cetus get hers? Miss Cetus, I'm gonna deliver Miss Cetus. Did Miss Rob get hers? Yep. Did Miss Park? Did my mom get Yep. So, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So we're good. I had the idea of opening a coffee shop so that students could get. Um, an idea of how businesses work and customer service and could track the math components of expenses and income and profit and uh, inventory. What room yeah, here is Mr. Oh, Sullyard so um, is just 135. Like the students get an idea of how businesses run. I We go through the process of skills such as marketing and um, tracking orders and customer reviews and then we actually fill orders and send those orders out to teachers who order drinks and beverages. Can you go get the whipped cream? The whipped cream is up there. On a typical day of Bulldog Brew, the students will come in, they'll wash their hands and sit down and wait for me um, or the regional manager to give them the orders that were filled for the day. From then, they get their materials and set up their stations and then fill the orders. They need to write receipts, both for our records and for the customers. They need to complete the order and fill whatever drink they might need or baked good. Um, and then they need to check in with the regional manager before they go out for delivery. Well, I'm the regional manager, so I make sure that everyone's, everything's going how it should go, and if they need help, I try and help them. Some challenges in running the shop are making sure we have enough orders and that we are appealing to the needs or the desires of the teacher, constantly getting feedback on how we're doing with reviews and knowing whether we're offering things that teachers want. Um, for example, we expanded our options to iced tea and lemonade and baked goods this year, and we saw that that really helped. We also increased the number of flavors that we offered, so we offered things like pumpkin spice and salted caramel that were big hits and increased um, the number of orders that we got. And that's a very important thing for us to do to make sure that we can keep the business growing and keep customers happy. The coffee shop is something that's going to repeat the process. So we currently worked with eighth graders this marking period. Um, in the future, we're going to do seventh graders, and we're really going to reboot the system. But now we know where we want to go. We know some things that were successful and some things that we hit that were challenges that we can hopefully better address those. And if I feel that those are important things for students to learn or see, I may not change how that works because I want them to understand the pitfalls of running a business. Um, we do lots of things that we add on every time. Like I said, we do different flavors and add to our menu. We also make videos and communicate with other student-led coffee shops in different districts um, to give different students different experiences. Yeah, um, um, hey, we need more regular brews too. As far as different things that we look at that are specific to us versus specific to other people, um, and other coffee shops. I feel that with the, the tracking of the profits and the inventory and the expenses and filling the orders, all of that is very similar. Um, but some things that are different are that we are only open for a half hour every day um, and we actually have to close on a day in order to do things like track our profits and our expenses um, and our inventory. We also don't have things like we don't have to pay rent, we don't have to pay for utilities, such as water and electricity, and we talk about those things when we talk about our different expenses. No, we need some. <laughs> My friend needs some.